in this video, I want to give you a really quick overview of Newton's laws of motion. Now, I have a much longer video on the laws of motion, which you can have a look up here if you want a more detailed explanation. Let's start. Here I have a diagram of a person pushing a box along a rough surface. There are two forces initially we're going to be looking at. The first is this particular force over here, which is the applied force. And so we're going to call it F A P P. The other force is the force due to the friction. Let's examine this from Newton's laws of motion. And the first one we're going to look at is what's often referred to as Newton's third law, which basically says that if A applies a force on B, then B applies an equal and opposite force back on A. So in this example, this applied force can be simply written as the force of the person onto the box. What Newton's third law says, there is another force that is the same magnitude, opposite direction, but this is now the force of the box on the person. Similarly speaking, when we're looking at the force of friction, that could be considered as the force of the ground onto the box. But equally, what we can use in the third law says is that there is an equal and opposite force back, which is the force of the box on the ground. And so Newton's third law says simply that forces come in pairs. And in this case, you can see we end up having two sets of pairs with the two forces we've looked at. But now what we want to do is look at Newton's second law and first law. And it differs in that in now we are only interested in the forces acting on the box. So in this case, I have two forces applying on the box. There's the force of the person on the box and the force on the ground on the box. And you will notice that in our case, those two forces are not the same magnitude. And so what will happen to the box? Well, the box is going to accelerate. And what is that acceleration dependent on? Well, the first thing that it's dependent on is what we say is what is the net force, the sum of the forces. And in this case, what we have is it's equal to this force here, the force of the person on the box, minus the force of the ground on the box. Make a note here, Newton's second law talks about the forces acting all on the same object, on the box. And so we have here what we call a net force, or sometimes written as F subscript N. But what's the other, other thing that ex determines the how much this box accelerates? Well, that is the box's mass. And so as a result, the acceleration ends up being equal to the net force that's applied here divided by the mass. Increase the difference between these two forces, it will accelerate at a greater acceleration. Increase the mass of our boxes, considering that the forces remain the same, the acceleration is going to be less. It's still going to speed up, but not at the same rate. That is Newton's second law, and it's often written as F equals MA. Then what about Newton's first law? Well, Newton's first law says that if the sum of these forces ends up being zero, in other words, these two forces are equal in magnitude but opposite and therefore cancel out, then we have no acceleration. This becomes zero. And so that would be akin to saying, okay, I have this force, but now I reduce this size. Of course, this one will reduce as well. And so as a result, being equal, we'll have no acceleration. And so that means it will not speed up, it will not slow down, it will not change direction. It could mean two scenarios here. The person could be sliding the box at a constant velocity. It's not speeding up, it's not slowing down. It could also mean that the box isn't moving at all. The velocity is zero. Again, in both situations, the force that's applied is equal to the force of friction. In other words, the force of the person on the box equals the force of the ground on the box. So that's Newton's third, second, and first law. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment down below if this is helpful for you. And please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. Take care and bye for now.